Hey everyone, Paul Angelo here, founder of the Big Gay Family Social Program, gay coach and trainer since 2010. And in this video, I'd like to talk to you about Grindr. I'd like to share with you some psychology behind understanding what's really happening to you when you are using Grindr. And I'd like to start out with a very powerful statement a statement that will shock some of you, but it's important that you understand it so that you can prevent this from happening in your life. And here's the statement. Grinder destroys lives of gay men. It's really simple. The use of Grinder promotes so many unhealthy practices with your self-esteem, with your psychology, so that after use, after frequent use of Grindr, men usually end up infantilized. They regress, they become children, they're disconnected with how relationships really work. Most importantly, they are unable to understand, to sense what good relationships really feel like and look like so after using Grindr for several months consistently or after a couple of years of using it, those men, when confronted with a good person, with a possibility for a healthy relationship, they simply have no clue what to do because they've been using the wrong, the wrong kind of service that has regressed them, that has infantilized them, in fact, destroyed their life. Relationships are the source of happiness. Good quality relationships are the source of happiness. And that truth, we call it a truism, has been around for millennia. We won't be able to become happy on our own, sitting at home, watching TV. Something about human nature causes us to reach out to other people, no matter what's going on in your life, and seek happiness through relationships. So this discussion about the use of Grindr is not just a discussion about something that's somewhat a little bit important or something that has very little effect at your life. Use of Grindr and similar online hookup and dating websites does have immediate effect at our lives. And I'd like to share with you the psychology behind it so that you can prevent the damage to your self-esteem, the damage to your future relationships from happening. I'd like to start out with a communication framework that some of you may have heard about. It's called Nonviolent Communication Framework and it's called NVC. Some of you who's been to a therapist or who's seen a psychologist, I'm sure you've uh, heard the concept of nonviolent communication to be able to communicate to another human being what's really going on with your mind, with your heart, with your intent. So the nonviolent communication framework has four pieces. First is the observation of what's happening. The second part is the sharing of the feelings or emotion behind it. The third aspect is the sharing of the need. And the fourth is a request. And the framework is based on a lot of study into a compassionate level communication so that we communicate what's going on with our lives, with our thoughts, our emotions, needs, and our observations in a compassionate way without creating conflicts, without affecting negatively the other person. So I'd like to start out with this in terms of sharing with you the psychological impact of the use of Grindr because those four pieces reflect the four parts of us. And with Grindr, when you are communicating online, there's only one part of you that is being activated. So ask yourself, is the feelings or the emotional aspect of you activated with Grindr? And I suspect you probably immediately answer, no, of course it isn't. Do you talk about your feelings or emotions through Grindr? Of course not. Do you talk about your needs, your emotional needs, or your values about what you find important in life, your interests, your hobbies? Very rarely. 
People usually talk exclusively about their sexual needs, about the kinky desires, about sexual exploration, and they forget that there's a lot more to their needs that healthy communication requires. And another aspect is a request for certain adjustment. So with the nonviolent communication framework, at the end you ask the person to make some kind of adjustment to satisfy the needs, to satisfy the emotional needs that all of us have. But see, none of that is happening with Grindr. All people do with Grindr is uh, simply bark at each other about sexuality. But there is more. One of the things that you find about Grindr is that you simply don't exist. Your needs don't exist. Your emotions and feelings don't exist. And as a person, you frankly are only turned into an object. You turned into a sex toy. And so some of you say, okay, yeah, well, that's why I go on Grindr for. But you know, that kind of simplification usually lands people into therapist offices for years to undo a lot of that destruction that this kind of communication creates. There are many parts to our psychology as a human being. And when we are denying those parts, eventually we end up anxious, we end up depressed. And so I've discovered that virtually everyone who uses Grindr, these men are very unhealthy, especially if you see them online more often and frequently. So there are some men that try it out and they quickly leave because they understand it's extremely dysfunctional environment. But most men actually stay and they use that platform as a de facto relationship building standard. And that's why you see them over and over for months and months and years and these men never progress. They regress, they infantilize themselves and even if they met someone they really liked, they have no clue how to turn that experience into any dating situation. So the men that you're meeting on Grindr, most of them will be anxious, depressed, infantilized, they will be regressing and even not aware of that process, which in my opinion makes it even worse because they're disconnected from their needs, they're disconnected from their feelings and they pretend that Grindr is okay. They pretend that spending time on such dysfunctional platform actually produces some kind of possibility of a friendship or a relationship. And that kind of naivete, that kind of uh, denial almost always ends up in some kind of surprising event, some kind of uh, breakup after maybe surprising relationship that happens. So I wanted to communicate this to you um, and focus on psychological aspect of it because people don't understand what's really happening when they're on Grindr. On top of all of that, the advertisers on Grindr are promoting sex toys. They promote prep. They promote irresponsibility. They want to turn you into a pharmaceutical consumer who, as opposed to taking responsibility for your life, who ends up being sexually addicted and then is twisted and manipulated to take medicine that has many side effects that forces them, that creates an acceptance of a dysfunctional ways of living through the use of pharmaceuticals instead of taking responsibility for their lives. All in all, if I were to summarize what Grindr will do to you, I would say it will dumb you down and it will produce anxiety, depression, and extremely toxic friendships and relationships. And those men who believe something else will happen in their lives, it's like the same men that go on Craigslist and believe they can fall in love with someone they're gonna meet on a hookup website whose first priority is to get laid, who is very dishonest, who is not really connected to what really matters in life, who is a child who has regressed into a certain sense of being that absolutely never ever never ever will produce any healthy relationships. So I'd like to ask you to reflect about your use of Grindr and the hookup websites. Has that produced anything significant? And if I were to ask you to be really honest with yourself, 
Are you really benefiting from spending time on Grindr and many other similar social platforms? Because your life is at stake, your relationships are at stake. If you're 21 years old, I guess you have some time to experiment. But if you're over 40, if you're over 50, if you're over 60, it's really time for you to do what makes sense, to do what works, to elevate your social experience so that the negativity of the use of Grindr, so that the rejection of many parts of you that you have to succumb to when you use those services, so that that doesn't happen. Because life is too short to sell yourself short, to pretend that your needs, your emotions don't matter and continue use of those platforms without regard for your sanity, without regard for your completeness of psychological health. There are many options out there today to get you out of Grindr and to get you into healthy socializing, healthy ways of connecting, interacting, and then deepening the connection with gay men. I'd like to share with you one option that is available right now that you can try for free and see how you can taste a new way of interacting that is not like Grindr, where parts of you have to be completely rejected, but instead produces full integration of all of you, respect with uh, awareness of your needs, of your feelings, and a complete package to help you become aware of what really works in relationships, how love and how marriages can really work for you. I'd like to invite you today to check out the Big Gay Family social program, to try it out for free, to try out the introductions, to try out the Connect for Life process, because I believe this is the most efficient and most productive and most successful way that any gay man today can succeed in friendships and relationships. Big Gay Family Social Program has been under development for now seven years with a lot of innovation, with a lot of breakthroughs and a process that will blow your mind. So instead of going on Grindr, instead of hiding behind a keyboard and pretending that something significant will happen, I'd like to challenge you to step it up, to try a real way of connecting with other men. I'd like to invite you to go to the Big Gay Family Social Program website at biggayfamily.com and see for yourself, try it out for free, how Big Gay Family can change your life forever. It's time to stop the dysfunctional patterns. It's time to stop the bleeding. You can have more in life. You can have healthy relationships. You can have healthy friendships. You don't have to struggle. You don't have to be depressed. You don't have to be anxious. A new way is available today and I'd like to invite you to try it for free for the first 30 days. So please visit the website at biggayfamily.com and until we talk in the next video, as always my friends, go out there, think big, stay present and be a leader in your life today. Thanks for watching, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, this is Paul, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and until I talk to you in the next video, as always, go out there, think big, stay present and be a leader in your life today. Thanks for watching, I'll talk to you soon.